Oh, hi everybody. In about five minutes, I'm going to meet George Taylor of OnTrack Audio. And George is the owner of OnTrack Audio by Design AC Powerline Filter product. He told me he have some questions for me about AC Powerline Filter design and the theory behind them. Uh, since I'm the designer of all his AC Powerline Filter, I'm pretty sure I can answer a few questions for him. But right now, I need some caffeine. It's all the time to go. I'm just might as well just bring it with me. Hey Gilbert, I got questions. You coming? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Inquiring minds want to know. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hold your horses. What do you have? I got a bunch of questions about power line conditioning. All right. Same ones I've been asking you for the last 10 years. They're on one page, it won't take too long. That's a lot of lines in there. Oh well. You ready? Okay, let's, let's start. Okay, question one. Okay. Really there's only a couple ways to do power line filtering or power line conditioning, correct? There's only a couple of components you can use. Well, if you're talking about passive filtering, yes, that's only two. Right. Two things. For the moment, let's go with passive filtering. Okay. What are they? It's a capacitive base filter and a transformer base filter. Okay, no other ways to go. If you talk about passive, no, but there are, there are lots. I mean, power regenerations and uh, DC power convert back into sine wave, things like that, and complicated things. Or you can actually just get the power from the solar panel, which I have done. But that's not really conditioning or filtering. No, that's just removal of electrical yeah. light. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, of the two methods, Capacitors and transformers. Which one do you think is, oh, I don't know, what's the best word? Practical, efficient, most usable, most flexible? If you combine them all together, yes. capacitor. Capacitor. Why is that? Well, let's talk about efficient. Okay. Efficiency, if you talk about energy efficiency, capacitor based filter is a lot more efficient because if you use a transformer, they always generate heat. You pass current through, it generate heat. Heat is a waste. But if you're passing the same things, same current through a capacitor-based filter, you don't feel any heat. Just for that, you know, you know there's energy wasted in transformer-based filter. Right, and heat's not going into your audio system, correct? Yeah, heat your room, though. <laughs> keep your hands warm. Yeah, okay. if you want to keep your hand in there, in there all the time. Okay, and transformers limit current. Yes, it does. Okay, so we've got three transformers here. Um, I'm, I'm going to weigh each of these, by the way, All as right, we go okay. along. Well, 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 since you have a scale here, let me turn on the scale, and then I put my put my little cell phone camera here, and and let's see, zero pounds. Okay, this is a 2.5 pounds, and I believe this is a 100 watt transformer. Okay, what device would that be able to run? What capacity? What 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 type of device in your audio system would this transformer be able to run? For 100 watts. You got preamp, line stage preamp, maybe phono stage, phono stage built in, and you also CD player and a DA converter. That's a max. For 100 watts, it's a transformer. You don't really draw, want to draw 100% of the rated current because it will actually run, run really warm. Um, so for 100 watts, 75 watts maximum. So basically 75% of the rated, rated, rated power of the transformer is the rule of thumb for okay. maximum current draw. All right. This is a bigger transformer. That's a 650 watts. Okay. 10.5 pounds. Uh, Wait. Yeah. Yeah, 10.5 pounds. 10.5 pounds. Yeah. Okay. And what would that run? A small power amp source stays up to about 30, 40 watts. Okay. Um, plus your line level component like a preamp and a CD player and a stream or something like that. Okay, so it would run source components. Is it fair to say that the 30 or 40 watt amplifier might get a little bit stifled? You certainly hear it's dynamic if it's strange. Okay. So it's enough. safe to use a 650 watt to, to, to run all your line level component. I'm, I'm talking about reasonable amount of numbers of component, not a whole rack of pro audio rack. Right. So, a line level preamp, a phono stage, a DA converter, a streamer, a router maybe? Yeah. Fair enough. Now we have the big boy here. Okay, let me do this again. This is zero pounds. 
Okay, put it on. Here we go. Don't break your back. They're getting heavier. It's not my back, it's my fingers. My back is fine. 29 pounds. 29 pounds. Oh, it dropped down to 28. What happened? I don't know. Okay, 28.5. 28.5. And the size of the capacitor is, the size of this transformer is? Uh, 2,000 watts. 2,000 watts. 2,000 watts? It should run. It should run an entire system unless you run a monoblock. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's talk about this thing, which is uh, one, of your on, 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 one of my filters, an on-track audio EF-130. We'll weigh that. Yeah. Why don't you try to put it heavier? It's five pounds. Five pounds. <laughs> so this actually weighs less than this, but has more current and wattage capacity than that. Yes, that thing is rated at 1800 watts, 15 amps, 120 volt. But, in, but, but remember this, when it comes to capacitor-based filter, if you want to rate it a number, that unit better designed to be able to handle a lot more than the rated power. So in other words, if you have a 1800 watt rating on a capacitor-based filter, it will handle more than 2000 watts, right. easy. And it does not generate any current because it's non-current limiting, all the filters are in parallel, so you do not have the same concern, actually it's the opposite concern of the transformer. Concern is the wrong word, but it's the opposite. Rated power of the transformer is a concern. Rated power of capacitor filter is a benefit. Right. Okay. So, I mean, we've sort of touched on it already, but let's talk about, I mean, both of these have their uses, both of these have their place. Yes. Right? The advantage of a capacitor-based filter is, for one, cost and weight. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for and especially for low to mid price uh, models, capacitor-based is a lot more efficient for the dollar. Right. Now, like you said, the transformer-based filter has its merit. It, it can smooth out the sound, uh, make the mid-range warmer by rolling off a high frequency a little bit, so for harsh equipment, uh, poor design equipment, it actually has benefit. When you come to really, really expensive transformer-based uh, filter, a uh, lot of people claim they don't cur they don't limit the current, but I, you know, I have to have proof for that. Because they still rate it at 2,000 watts, 3,000 watts, where are they going to get that current from? Got it. Okay. Um, it seems to me that you have a more flexible platform if you're using a, a capacitor-based design than a transformer-based design. I mean, the transformer is what it is, whereas capacitors you can mix and match to create networks. Your statement is mostly correct. Okay. Yes, uh, capacitor-based, you can create network, you can, you can cherry-pick each frequency what to, what to filter, and what not to filter. Right. But in this case, you want to filter all the noise, anything over one kilohertz. Right. Now, transformer-based, uh, filter is you are using a transformer. It's right. like a like a one big transformer trying to cover the whole frequency. Right. Whatever the transformer can cover is it, that's it. But in the capacitor based filter, you can use more more capacitor to cover higher and higher frequency range. Okay. Would you use a? And the other the other problem is that this is this is what it is. Would you use another transformer in conjunction with this? to cover a different fre different frequency spectrum, or are you stuck with one transformer? Are you talking about transformer after transformer? Yes. Well, then you have a rather negative effect of keep slowing down the speed and limiting the current. That's why I asked the question. All right. <laughs> All right, more questions. Um, sonic signature. Do, do you mentioned that transformers can possibly roll off some high frequencies and sweeten up some mids. Do capacitors have the same type of a sonic signature? If you want to, yes. But why would you want to? Exactly. So this is, you in general, unless you try to make it less transparent, this is the more transparent choice of the two in most cases. In uh, audio file term, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You All can. right. That makes sense. Um, I think that just about covers it. I mean, it seems to me that if you're looking at something that's low to mid cost, 
like transformers, or sorry, transformers are out because of their lack of simplicity. I mean, cap capacitors just seem to have a simplicity of the platform that lends itself a little bit better to keeping the cost down and yes. keeping the size small. Yes, in, in a simple word, yes. Okay. Now, there's a reason we keep that box very small, correct? With yes. a capacitor-based design? Yes. Tell me about it. Well, because we want to keep the wire between the outlet and inlet as close as possible to the filter itself. The closer to the filter, the better the, the uh, effectiveness it is. Well, I think that about wraps it up. I mean, that's 10 years of questions in 10 minutes you sure? on one piece of paper. You sure? That's a morning's work for me, my friend. All right. We're can done. I, can I meet my lunch date now? You can go meet your lunch date now. All right. Meanwhile, I'm off to buy a motorcycle. You do what you want to do. I I'm will gonna, do what I'm I want to do. Have, I'm going to meet my lunch date. You do See that. you later. Oh, it's okay. I'll clean this up. I got okay. it. No okay. problem. No problem. Before I go meet my lunch day, I want to hope you guys enjoy our conversation about the power line filters and the theory behind them. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, press the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. And if you have any comment or question, put it down in the comment section. I read every one of them. Until next time, this is Gilbert's Little Arts Creations. Goodbye! Wait, I still need to show you who's my lunch day, right? Aren't they little cute things? They lined up outside the door every day by 11.30. If I don't feed them, I will be in trouble because I don't get to cross their path.